We got Efron from Zurich, ETH Zurich. Bootstraps, bootstrap. Hi everyone, I would like to invite you uh, to, my, to listen to my presentation, and I'm happy that you are here. Uh, so as previous team explained, the challenge was that to predicting what search score index of a sustainable brands based on their previous data and result, not only we could predict that search score, but also now we are able, if you say how much you want to invest in advertisement, we will tell you how much you will gain in future. That's cool, right? So, a brief introduction about our team. Um, I'm Erfan Abdi, and my friend is Mohammed Reza Karimi, and uh, we are a master's student in Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, also known as ETH Zurich. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't come here. He got stuck in the airport, and uh, he was working remotely. So, in our model, we have some inputs, we have some data. Mean search score, the amount of the tweets, how, a brand, how much a brand is selling, and the amount that they are spending in advertisements. And our goal is to find and predict what is the mean search score for a brand. What's the relation between, between these uh, variables? That's something unknown. And we came up with a brilliant idea we introduced a new thing, a new hidden variable, which we say that it controls everything. And we call it popularity. And we claim that if we have this popularity, then we can calculate your search score, your, how much you are selling, and number of, your uh, number of tweets out there about you. So only by having this popularity. So, now, do we have this popularity? Can we calculate it? Yes. So, we have, we have formulated this popularity, and this popularity is a function of the amount that you have advertised in past. In a way that more recent your advertisement is, it has more effect on your popularity. Let's make it more clear. Consider that you, do ad you advertise now. Now it has a lot of effect in your popularity. Also, it has effect in your popularity next month, but it's less. So it's decreasing exponentially. And that's why all of the companies keep advertising. They don't stop advertising. And we have solved these equations with EM algorithm, and we got good results. <clears throat> so, what does it mean, the thing that I said? Now, we are able to predict the amount of your search score, amount of tweets about you, and how much you are selling, based on how much you are investing in advertisement. Let's give an example. For example, consider that Lipton wants to spend some amount of money in advertisement, and they want to know how much they will gain with this money. For example, consider that they are spending 10K dollars, and they would like to know how, how much approximately they will gain. They can find out, for example, by spending 10K dollars this month, they will have 15K more, 15K more sales next month and also 7% more tweets next month. Then, if another company invests the same amount of money, they will have different numbers. So it depends on nature of your company and the parameter specific for your company. So, in this challenge, we built a single model for all of these brands with the same parameters. What we can do is making tailored parameters for different brands and having more accurate data. For example, having different models for companies who are selling car and companies who are working in real estate. Another thing is that separating advertisement sources. 
Now, the thing that we say is that if you spend that amount of money, that's how much you will gain next month. But what we can do is separating source of advertisement, for example, TV, newspaper, and then say, okay, if you spend that much in newspaper, you will gain that much next month. Summary. We have introduced popularity effect, which we can make prediction based on that, how much you are selling, what's your search index, and everything. And it enables marketer to make more intelligent decisions, how much they want to spend in advertisement, and knowing how to spend their money. We have done a lot of other things for, uh, for filling missing data, for uh, preparing data, which I didn't mention any of them, and I just dived into the model and what, what does it provide you. Thank you.